Hello, welcome to Blue Chip Technologies. I'm Levi Gatsi, and today we're gonna to take a tour of our facility, so come on inside. As many of you know, we've been uh, doing some dirt racing podcast videos, so thought we'd start the tour off through uh, the podcast room where all that takes place. We've had a lot of uh, great stories told in this room with a lot of uh, history drivers, guys that have been doing it for many years, and we've also been doing it with, uh, you know, the new upcoming talent. So right through this way is uh, our lobby where you come in. We've got uh, an aerial overview of the facility that we're standing in. So through this way is uh, where all the coffee drinking gets started in the mornings. You gotta have a bun to get your day started. Out here is uh, the fabrication and machine shop. We uh, do a lot of fabrication work and machining for a lot of different companies. And uh, it's kind of a mess right now, but this right here is uh, our dyno jet. We're gonna be putting in the lower building here in the next few weeks. We've uh, designed and been fabricating uh, sprint car starter attachment for it. That way we can fire up sprint cars on this. When you order them, they uh, don't come with them. So we decided to make one, but uh, over there is the drawing room. Whenever we, customers send us drawings, they all get put in tubes, go in there. Here's the fabrication side of things. We do all our welding out here. You got all our mills lined up down that way. Wade's sitting back there on the right hand side. We've uh, got our hydraulic press brake over here to the left. Uh, material arrives on the semi, usually rolls in here and we unload him. Stock all our materials here along the wall, try to keep everything categorized by, uh, you know, sizes and materials. And back this way, we also store a lot of materials. And this here's our uh, CNC plasma cutting table. We uh, try to cut a lot of parts for different customers and uh, we've uh, been really happy with the way it cuts. It does a great job. Looks like our operator's cutting right now. We uh, bring the drop materials into this room here when we finish cutting, store it. You see that there's a lot of material left over so those get stored via thicknesses and, and different kinds of materials for that way we can use them for future jobs. Try not to waste much material. Down this uh, way here is a uh, way to the uh, lower facility. We, uh, between uh, our three buildings, we've got 30,000 square feet. So it's uh, trying to get everything under one roof on the engine side of things has uh, been our ultimate goal. These last few weeks, we've been moving a lot of stuff from our other building. So we are in the process of trying to get the rest of our equipment brought over, but for now we've got a good majority of it in here. So I thought we'd take everybody a lap through this part of the building and uh, give everybody an idea how things are looking. I know it's not all together yet, but it's getting close. Start off down this way, we got our five axis CNC centroid. We got uh looks like Bryce has got something in there right now he's working on, so going. going pretty good, just taking a lap. We've well, uh, just got them deck in that block and we're boring it up blueprint. And, uh, it's looking good. Good deal. Over here is where uh, all the porting gets done on master cam. So once we get it all drawn up on master cam, then we upload the programs over here to the centroid. And then we can cut similar heads. Also do all our block work and stuff over in this area. Try to keep all the block work down on this side of the building. So we've got our diamond home set up over here. This thing has uh, been running phenomenal. We're very pleased with the way it's been working. The honing, uh, the cross hatch and everything, surfaces are just phenomenal. <laughs> That's all you can say. Uh, over here is the valve seat guide machine. 
Not a whole lot to look at. It's a great machine. I've been real happy with it. Uh, over here's where uh, the engine assembly room is. So try to keep everything uh, as clean as we can. Right now things look a little messy over here, but uh, you know, so when the cylinder head comes in, you know, this is kind of what you're looking at. And then uh, once once we get them cut, you know, the finishes are uh, pretty sweet. You know, we've uh, this one here's one that he's worked on right here. So you know, it's slick as glass. We've uh, been really pleased with it, and uh, ports have turned out great. We've uh, got our engine teardown room down this way. Engines come in, get them unloaded. They go straight to teardown. Once they get tore down, we've got the parts cleaner here on the left. Throw them in there, bring them out, spray them off on the wash station. Down this way is where the dyno jet chassis dyno will be set in the ground. If you step over this way, we can show you the control room. It's a mess right now. We've been doing some wiring today. Uh, sprint car starter attachment is gonna be programmed into this touch screen, uh, programmed uh, in-house to uh, drive that motor that you've seen that will fire up the sprint cars. Uh, so over here is our engine dyno in that room. So this will be the control room that will control each dyno and uh, we should have them both up and going here in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for more videos. We appreciate you all watching uh, our shop tour. Hopefully you liked it. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can look us up on bluechiptech.net. Uh, give us a call at 1-812-807-7050 for all your engine needs. We appreciate you tuning in. Thanks and have a great evening.